Hello there. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay. What about yourself? Okay. Yes. <laughs> my legs are a little sore. To, I, I went for a longer run today. See where my limit is at the moment. All right. Yeah. So I might creak during the session. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was a 25 and a half minute form today, so that was a bit tough on the legs. That's very impressive. <laughs> yeah. People doing really hard work with that. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it wasn't as bad today as it was yesterday, though, to be honest. I, I, I actually, I thought I, I, it was, it, yeah, it was, it was doable. It was all right. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? I mean, two days ago, I had a terrible hangover. That was the worst. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was with you in sympathy as well. I had a hangover and I was doing the same thing. I was in the back. <laughs> well, I, I had like 10 minutes to go and I was, I was just, my legs, I was just vibrating. Yeah, that was hard. I, I was shaking before we started on that day. <laughs> <laughs> so the drinking's going well then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, working on that. You gotta keep your hand in. <laughs> Practice for when we get out, go to a pub. <laughs> Practice for yeah, when we go to the pub when we're when we let out, we'll we'll need to get our stamina up. Mm. About fourth of July, I think. <laughs> is um as it stands. So, so I forget who it was. So, some credible institute have looked at the the lockdown and the arrangements for the next few months, and fourth of July is the earliest date the some pubs and restaurants are going to be opening. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow. So that could be a messy weekend. I'm not going out. <laughs> no, I'm not going either. <laughs> That'll be dangerous, won't it? Yeah. yeah. It'll be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. We'll all come on with the virus as well, won't we? <laughs> yeah. 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 Zero social distancing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So last week we were doing Chum Q. Um, so we're on a bit of a Chum Q mission at the moment, aren't we? Uh, running through Chum Q and drilling different little sections of it. Um, so perhaps uh, some offshoots of Chum Q turns and steps and, uh, and then go through the form again. Um, is there anything anybody has in mind that they particularly want to cover before we set off? Or is that all sounding good? <laughs> yeah. On a chunky, uh, we're on a chunky bent. I was trying to remember what people said. I know uh, Ben, you mentioned doing stepping techniques and sandbox mar and things, but I think that was on the Thursday, wasn't it? Sort of um, the, the sort of generic class, whereas we're sort of focused today on on the uh, chunky. But there's no reason why we can't do stuff like that as well on this class. So. Have a think anyway, because I think we've covered Chum Q in quite a bit of depth already, and um, so it might be good to move on after this and maybe even uh, next form. But, um, <laughs> yeah, some elbows, some elbows, and uh, BG perhaps. Or, yeah. Uh, right, and I forget when I first started learning elbows from going behind the, your ear and across, down. Yeah, I caught uh, Steve perfectly on the forehead that side, and then did the other side, and <laughs> caught him again. <laughs> so he got two red marks on his forehead. <laughs> I bet he was. I bet. I bet he said, "Oh, that was brilliant." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> brilliant, Richard. <laughs> when, he, when he could speak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When he came around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's do a little warm up, shall we? Yeah. Get the show on the road. So, feet together, start officially. I'm looking forward to doing some cheese out. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Strange not doing cheese out for so long. It's all in there. Yep. Ready for when they come out. The whole of the martial arts industry or areas just had to hold. There's no contact, is there really? No. You know, all the martial arts schools, they're all in the same boat. It's yeah, it's nuts, isn't it, really? Yeah. It'd be a good time to pick a fight with somebody. <laughs> when, we, when we get out, <laughs> a bit, nobody will be trained up properly. Well, you say that, like, I went for my run. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, no. 
No, no, there's no contact. Have you found another fight, Richard? <laughs> um, I went for a run, running across the road. I was, um, there was a car pelting up the hill. Yeah. He, I had to swerve to avoid two cars. And then as he swerved, he nearly got me. Uh, so I had a few choice words for him. Yeah. He got out of his 4x4. Four four, and so I said, if you come anywhere um, within six feet, um, I might be bad for your health, meaning coronavirus. Yeah. He, he laughed, and then he got back in his 4x4. Four four. <laughs> <laughs> so I completely disarmed him with my humour. Wow. You, uh, I, I'm surprised that uh, only you could... Um, find a fight during lockdown, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. with, your, with your track record. Yeah. That's amazing. That's really quite amazing. Yeah. Good work on the disarm. Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> we we making out that you had the virus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and lunging to your left. Fighting without fighting. Yeah, <laughs> after fighting without fighting. Mm. Show me some of it. <laughs> Another side. On Tito. You will go swearing at people. <laughs> <laughs> you will go swearing at people. Yeah. I, mean, I was within about a foot of getting me. Oh. Uh. Turn right. Turn middle. All right, walking in, left foot forward, right arm backwards. What was that, Bill? We'll go swearing at people. No, uh, <laughs> Richard swearing at people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help it, I was in a rage. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of your rages. Yeah. With too much uh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Yeah, living in a virtual world. <laughs> I've had too much webinar today. I've been on webinars all day. Oh, yeah. is this that... is a nice change then. <laughs> eh? This is a nice change then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll soon be coming a, a digital, I don't know, pixel. <laughs> <laughs> like Lord um... Man. Opposite directions. Change direction. I've been planning virtual youth clubs. Have you? Yeah, that's been my day. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Shoulders back. What are they going to do in a virtual youth club? Got no idea yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the theory stage and we're looking at safeguarding and stuff like that, how to keep people safe online. At least, uh, yeah, at least they're, if they're locked in their houses, they're safe, right? Yeah, yeah. in theory, yeah. Where, where do they smoke in a virtual youth club? <laughs> yeah, they'll be able to vape in their own house. Uh, looking left and right. Side to side. Well, there's still all that virtual bullying thing going on, isn't there, I suppose? Yeah. On and back. Circle. Four ways. And how you keep their data private as well. How do you what? Keep the data private. Yeah, yeah. Uh, circling your feet. One at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Both ways. Point. Pull back. Turn out. Turn in. Circle. And pull back. Up front. And the shuffle and the hop. <laughs> yeah. Another side circle. And point. 
pull back, turn out, turn in, circle, and pull back, up front, feet together, circling your knees, both ways, and bend and skip back. Holding your knees and touching your toes and circling your hips. Both ways. And shake off. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna do some punches. Yiji Kimi Na. Single punches, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sevens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Views on the knee. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just relax. I'm going to take my jumper off. A bit warm. <sighs> Okay, okay. So we'll do some turns. Um, so we'll just start just turns normal. So I'll just angle that down. 
So just feet shoulder width apart. Obviously, everybody knows turns, pivot on the heels, sinking. One to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hands, so we'll do turning punches. So make sure you're sinking down and moving your head on these turns. Okay, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So turning town punch now. One to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, turning ball and guard. So I'll let this ball fold all the way back, projecting both hands all the way out. One to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just from the side, make sure this is going out. So I'm dropping in, coming out, dropping in, coming out. So I'm letting this fold all the way back and I'm projecting both hands all the way out. All the way back, all the way out, okay? So we'll do another set of these. One to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep going in your own time. Just gonna have a quick look. That's good, Ben. Just sink your weight a little bit more. Your head's hardly moving. So when you're doing this, uh, I'll just use my, use my piece of technical equipment here to demonstrate. So when you're doing this, uh, let me just put myself. So if this is the middle, this is the center of my body, am I in the right place? So there. So there, when I turn, I should be moving and sinking. So my head is moving at least that distance each time I'm doing my turn. So if you're turning and your head's staying here, it probably means your arms are gonna to have to do more um, and you're gonna use more energy than you need to. So make sure you're sinking when you're turning as well. So then you don't have to use as much energy and strength with your arms, okay, if that makes sense. If it does, just don't say anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we'll do another set of these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Logan and Punch. So we did this the other day, same as, uh, it's basically a uh, Gan Sao. Gan Sao means splitting block, but we're using a punch instead of an open hand for this hand. So we're cutting down, striking up. Uh, so the punching hand comes up through center. 
and we're parrying down, striking in. So turning guard and punch, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep going in your own time. Have a quick look. Uh, Mark, just make sure you're not locking the arm out for the garn. So the garn, you want to have a triangular shape and think of your body moving around it rather than firing out like that. So make sure you've got a bend on the elbow. That's better on the turn, Ben. That's it. Good. That's good, Bill. Good, Richard. Cool. Uh, so we'll. Um, I'm just in the middle of my wind chung, but Is that Mark building calls? Do that now. It's just eavesdrop. Oh. All right. Uh, what do you need? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do. Uh, I'll just I'll just mute him. He's on the phone. Yeah, so, um, so now same positions, but both hands are open. I just muted you, Mark. There, I didn't know how long you'd be. <laughs> oh, sorry, no. Put you back on now. No, you're right. So um, turning guard sales now. So exact same movement, except we've got both hands open. One to each count. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going in your own time. Turning guard towels. Ben, you're turning the wrong way. Yeah, from there, just that. It, Mark. So our upper tans, upper gansau, uh, wants to land in the same spot. So if I'm, I use the camera as my reference point for my garn. If I turn into that, and um, my middle fingers down the, the camera, when I switch sides, same it wants to apply. So what I don't want is one hand over here, one hand over here, right. because then if we were doing the turning garn and punch, the punch wouldn't be hitting the target. So the when we're doing low guard and punch, this is your same target. So yeah, a little bit more forward with your guard style there, Mark. That's better, yeah. So your, your high guard, your high guard style is going to land in the same position each time. So you're effectively moving around it here. This is your centralized position. We're moving around that position with our stance. Okay. Then just slow it down again. Now turn again without moving your arms. That's it. <laughs> so remember, um, let me just see if I can use it. So if this was my attack, let's do it from the side. So if this is the attack coming in, my garnsaw has to collect it from here. So it's inside of this arm. So this must come through this line. So if the line is from the camera, let's say, to my face, my, my turning guard sow can't cut like this. It's got to cut through that line. So try and visualize a line. I don't know if that, this might not help, but try and visualize a line uh, from the direction you're facing, there's a straight line punch coming towards your face. You're moving off that line and you're cutting into it. 
So keep that in mind, that might help you just kind of visualize this same thing as the punch, but with the, with the block, we've got to catch that punch. So the turn needs to move us off the line and the guard needs to cut through this line. If this comes up too late, we've missed that line, still gonna get hit. So make sure this is cutting into the, into the attack. So try and visualize that attack. Um, I found that helps. Don't know if that helps. Yeah, it's helpful. Sound effects also help. <laughs> Sound effects, yeah. Every time. Okay, mm. so from there, I'm going to do some quons. So it's basically, if we've just done a turning garn, the quon is we just turn. So we have a tan with one hand and a low one with the other, and that's one sound. We change first and turn. We're changing fractionally before we turn, because the same applies if we, <clears throat> if we had this, I don't know if I can use that. If we had this attacking line and I changed after my turn, I don't know where, <laughs> no, that's gonna work. But if I, if I, I would miss the attacking line. So with a quun, <laughs> yeah, if you could grab that for me, Bill. <laughs> yeah. So with a quun, um, if I change after my turn, I'm going to miss that line and get hit, basically. <laughs> Not done explain it very well. I need a, I need a, a vice or something to hold it. But yeah, so, so we're turning, cutting across this central line with our hands. So which means our hands must come up first before we do the turn, even if it's just fractionally before. So just to break it down into the numbers, change first, then turn. Change first then turn. Obviously it's all together, but this helps you make sure your hands are up first before you do the turn. So this is turning uh, once out. This is potentially an escape from a trap as well. You were mentioning that, that trap bill on the, on that video you posted. I thought he was perhaps doing a, something similar to a quunso actually to get out. So there was his trap and he just turned to get out with a quun. So it could be a, an escape from a, a trap of corn sound, essentially. So we've got low bong and a tan. Just running through that. So just change first before you do the move, Ben. So you're kind of doing it together. But just imagine, imagine a line coming through, an attack coming down center, and you're blocking it with the bong. That's the bong, I'm blocking it. And then this is the tan, I'm blocking it. And then we put them both together. So I'm basically covering both lines. The high attack from my chin and the low attack from my solar plexus. And we're covering them both at the same time. So just try and visualize uh, that attack coming in and your positions covering them, covering the attacking line. Wrist in line with my hip. For yeah, for the for the low bong, it would be yeah. If you had a mirror, it would appear opposite to your hip. Cool. Correct. Okay. Just try not to overcook it. Yeah. Might be fractionally. Okay, so we'll move on to some steps. So, uh, shall we just, in fact, if we just uh, turn and face off the camera and we'll have our punching positions. <laughs> so we, we're basically in Bumar. So if we step forward once and punch, we're just stepping forwards in Bumar. Can everybody do that? So forwards one, two, <laughs> run into your fridge. So turning and Monsau, dropping into guard and we'll just do stepping and turning. So forwards one, two, three, four, and turn. Monsau and then dropping back into your, into your guard and position. So we've got forwards one, two, three, four. And 
and turn, Munsao, drop it into punching position. Forwards one, two, three, four, turn, and let's do a kick. Let's add a kick. Okay, so just kicking for the knee height. So what? <laughs> Make sure your upper body doesn't move when you're doing the kick. So try and make sure your, your weight is, uh, is on your back leg. So forwards one, two, three, turn, kick. Forwards one, two, three, turn, kick. Forwards one, two, three, to kick and just run through that in your own time I'm just gonna have a little look So Ben, uh, shoulders square. So what you've got there is you're leading with one arm, which means your back arm has got further to travel. So remember in Bumar, we want uh, both these hands in play. So make sure you're not leading with the, your stronger arm. So make sure your shoulders are square to the wall in front of you. Uh, Richard, just a bit, a bit of a rock when you when you're doing your kick. A bit of a rock there, and your backhand's a bit too close to your chest. So I would just give yourself a bit more arm room there, okay. and um, keep your weight in the back leg. That's good, Mark. Um, punch with your backhand, and and just project your guard and a bit further forward. Right. So you tend to be here, which is a bit close. Thanks. Right. Range. So Ben, you're shifting your weight there for the kick, try and avoid that. And the Munsau, I'll just run through the Munsau. Uh, so from here, if, if this is our final position, we're allowing our guard to swing as we turn, but we're looking. So get your head round, because there's something, that's, we're looking out for something. Go beyond your punching position and then dropping into it. So it's covering that attacking line. If something was coming in here, all I'd want is, is to make sure I'm covering that line and then dropping down. So get your head round when you, when you look first before, well, it's as, as you're turning. So lead with your head turn and cover and then back into your guard and position. Okay, so we'll move on now. Do little things there, but it's good to watch them just because, I mean, you know, I'll be making mistakes as well, but it's, it's easy to pick it up when you're watching the video. It's harder when you're just doing it on your, on your own. Um, so we'll go through uh, Chum Koo then, shall we? And we'll just uh, take some pieces out. Obviously, we've done some turns and some steps, which is all Chum Q stuff as well. Okay. Uh, so, did we decide it was easier if my back was facing you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, I'll do that then. <laughs> Not that you don't like the look of me. Oh. <laughs> well, let's see now. <laughs> yeah. right. So, relax your feet. So... Uh, left hand on top, centre line check, left hand punch, locking out, stretch. Right hand punch, locking out, stretch. Both hands into the middle, fingers pointing forwards, energy on the end, double jeng sao, turn into your left, left hand on top. To your right, to your left, so view, tan, left top sao, one, two, three, arms, one, two, three. Through into lance out position, fingers on the wrist, look, turn them on the guard, back. Good. 
three of these, back to land, place the fist, punch, swearing up, back to out, jump, and side palm. Energy on the end, right arm on top this time. Use hands, right top out. Arms, one, two, three. Through into line, fingers, look, turn them on the guard. Uh, I forgot, I've lost count now, that might be an extra one there. Three of those, punch, back out, jump, palm. And now we're on to second section. So we've got aggressive line, so it should be a fist on the end of this. Stop and kick, stepping one guard, checking centre. Three of those. Then on the other side, aggressive line, stop and kick, stepping one guard, checking centre. And then third section, turn, low kick, stepping dive bombs, flat hands. So, you up, double bar, wrist stretch. Right foot goes back. Turning into Gumar, kicking the knee, dive bombs, flat hands. Second bomb, third bomb. Square up that toe, double view, double jump, double palm, wrist stretch. Then we've got look, lift, turn on the heel, kick, placing the foot down, left gum. Right gum, left gum, squaring up, left hand punches first, five punches to finish. And then we can we can do the other kick. Let's do the other kick. So just to make it symmetrical, face the other way. I'm looking over the right shoulder. So it's look, lift, turn, kick, place that foot down, right gum out, left gum, right gum. Front line leads, one, two, three, four, five. I trust everybody did that perfectly. Yes. Well, <laughs> what I thought. Got a bit, got a bit lost again. I, 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 I went off screen and then I couldn't, and then I'm, I'm, I completely messed up the last. I turned down too soon for the uh, kick thing and messed it up. <laughs> did you go off into the hallway? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I couldn't. Yeah, I've, I've, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, got nearly, nearly all the way through it. Cool. Is there any bit you unclear on, Mark? That we could uh, maybe focus on. Um, it's just the uh, yeah, just the 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 very last bit. The um, um, after the uh, after the two the. Uh, the dive bombs just after that bit, and then the views, and then it's the it's the tip that the very that after that, I got um, I think it's the it's the other side bit, I think that's where I lost it. Okay, well, let's use that as a focus then. So, because it's all right to that point, and then I lost it. Yeah, so that's uh, section three, then, isn't it? Really, so we, yeah, can, yeah. we could do section three today, that would be a good focus. Um, we've kind of covered the, we've covered a lot of detail over the last few weeks, so um, I think that'll be a good place to start. Um, so we'll just go through that together, and then I'll I'll just get people doing individual parts again. Um, flat hands. I was just watching there; they weren't flat; they were coming up like that. So the dive bombs were fine, yeah. and flat hands were coming up almost like you would do a tan. Oh, like this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, uh, these are these are parallel to the floor, and hence why we've got the dive bong is to deflect a low punch. So yeah. if the fan was here, we wouldn't need to. We could do a tox out to defend potentially instead mm -hmm. of a low bong. So we wouldn't necessarily do a low bong from here, but we would do it from here to defend. Yeah, um, fine. I was just uh, wanting to highlight that to Ben just so I picked it up. So. Oh, well, Ben was doing that. Yeah. All so right. So I wasn't being picky, but I wanted to let him know that, yeah, it was flat hands rather than doing that. Yeah, good point, yeah. Well, that's it, like this and then 
So your, your tan sow, Ben, is, is, is parallel to the floor in that third section. So we, we're moving into dibongs, but we wouldn't necessarily move from um, That's better. a normal, yeah. a normal nice. one to a dibong. We would be more like that before we could roll into that position. So yeah, tan, just tan sow parallel to the ground in that third section. I get it. It's almost like you've had your tan sow pushed down. So the defense against this incoming attack will be a low bong from that position. That makes sense. So yeah, think about um, from this position, think of um, rotating around, around your fingertips. So we're, we're kind of, there's my, there's my tan. So rather than the wrist, which is what we would think about in this movement, we're, we're thinking of it with a bit more structure. So oh, we're, I, I, only, I only step on the bomb. Yeah, so we're stepping with the bomb, flat time. Stepping with the bomb, flat time. Stepping with the bomb, and then we step up to our double view. So is there any, is, there, are they, is it like a, a, a an old bong way that's just completely relaxed, or is there any? Is there a little bit of um, yes, it's, energy in it? it, it no, it's it's more rigid. Right. So think of this bong as like a, a bit of a snowplow, uh -huh. maintaining that structure and keeping somebody away from you. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. So if we go through third section together, yeah. and then. Um, Let's just do that bit actually. So we'll go from, so, um, so third section, we're turning to the left. We're kicking the knee and then we're stepping. So just get your hands into that lower position, stepping with a die ball. And then flat hands, rotate around your fingertips, stepping again with the, the ball, flat hands, and then stepping again with the low ball. So from that position, let's say that's our third one, squaring up your front toe, stepping in to double bu. From the double bu, we're drawing back into this shape. It's yeah. like a good sow, so it's explosive energy pulling somebody down towards us, and then it's a double palm strike to the chest. Then we're locking out, and then we're stretching the wrists. All uh, right, yeah. Yeah, and then from there, right foot goes back. So we should have our right toe down. And we're pivoting on the left foot and the right toe. And we should be back into Bumar now. And then yeah. kicking the knee. And then we're doing the same uh, in the other direction. Low bongs, flat tans. Low bongs, flat tans. Low bongs. And on this third one, squaring up your toe, stepping into double bu, back into Jutsal, double palm strike to the chest, locking out the arms, stretching the wrist. And then we'll just do that in a loop. So drawing your left foot back this time, uh, pivoting on the toe and heel, and then kicking the knee, and then die bongs again. So we've got bong, flat tan, bong, flat tan, bong, toe squares up, double bu, jut, palm, lock out and stretch. Right toe back, turn, kick, and then the same on the again on the side. So it's low bongs, low bongs, low bongs, square the toe, double bu, back to this box shape, double palm, and then drifting your left toe back, turning toe and heel, and then kicking the knee, and then we're doing the same again. So we're just basically doing a loop of that little section of the form. So, um, so there's only, so we're, we're ready. so as we're stepping into this, once we've done the kick, we've got one die bomb, flat tans, two die bombs, flat tans, three die bombs. We don't have any more flat tans after that. So we're stepping straight into the double bu. Right. So we've got, what's that? We've got one, one of each, two of each, and then three dive bombs, but no three flat tans. 
We've only got two flat tans in that little room. Right. So we've got die bomb, flat tan, die bomb, flat tan, die bomb, and then we're straight into the bube. So we don't have three flat tans, we've only got two flat tans, but we've got three die bongs. Does that make sense? Yep. Just because I think you did an extra one there, Mark. Yeah, I think it did, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. That's good, Mark, yeah, well done. So just as a bit of a pointer, on the last, um, on the last dive on, Try and avoid letting your body catch up with your arms before you do that view. Right. Same principle as uh, first um, first form with our low palm. So what we're not doing is drawing back, losing ground. So after our third dive on, the fingers lead, and don't don't let the don't let the body catch up, because we'd be doing this then and we'd be losing ground. Right. Let the fingers lead you into that double double view. That's good, Ben. Except uh, you, you uh, relaxed your views before you put the energy in. So this, let's say this is my final double um, bong, die bong. As I square up my toe, this must go straight to its target. What you did just then was you stepped and paused, and then you drew them back to strike. So it's just all these little things, um, but it's important. So make sure the, the fingers lead this movement straight into that strike and that your body doesn't catch up with your arms. Yep. First one then. So, uh, Mark, so the same thing there. After, yeah, after you, I think you just stepped into your arms a bit. Yeah. After you bong, just get your arms uh, pulling you forward, if you like. Yeah. Rather than catching up with them. Good, Richard. Thank you. So the double, uh, the, uh, double jut sow. So once we've stepped up with our double bu, we're pulling down to this shape. So it's kind of imagine a, a, a box shape. So from here to here is a square or a rectangle shape. So you're not up here and you're not down there. Your, your forearms are parallel to the floor again. And then it's a double palm strike to the chest. Okie dokie. That's good, Mark. Which kick is this? Is this the... This is the knee the kick. Turn and... No, uh, turn no. So what we're doing with our feet, I'll show you. So the footwork is we've got our die bongs, flat tans, die bongs, flat tans, die bongs, and we square. Step up with the double bu, jut uh, and palm. So what's happening is this foot's coming back, and we're pivoting on our heel and our, our heel and our toe. And then we've got the knee kick, and then we've got thigh bongs, flat tans, thigh bongs, flat tans, thigh bongs. 
squaring up, stepping up to that double view, jump uh, and palm, and then the right toes coming back, and then we're pivoting toe and heel, and then kicking the knee. So we're basically doing a loop of that, uh, squaring up, stepping up, toe back, pivot, toe and heel, kicking the knee. That's our footwork. So square, step, toe, back, kicking the knee. Okay. Uh, you ran out of room there, Ben. <laughs> so remember, you're only doing uh, you're only doing two flat tans effectively. So you've got there's my first dive bomb. That's one flat tan. There's my second dive bomb. That's my second flat tan. And there's my third dive bomb. And then you're stepping. So you're only doing two lots of flat tans, but you're doing three lots of dive bombs. So keep those tans uh, horizontal to the ground, Ben. Make sure you're not doing uh, your tans too high. So, um, Richard, that one, you were, you, were, uh, you were dipping. So you were going from here, look where my fingertips are, and then you were dropping them. Ah, uh, right, okay. So try and think of, think of uh, Chi Sao, where your tan's been pushed down, and then someone's doing a Hyun Sao low palm on you. So you're kind of rotating, think of trying to rotate around that fingertip. Yeah, okay. Rather than dropping them down, so you're kind of rotating around them. Right. That's your, that's your point of rotation. Thank you. That first one's tough to get. Do you know? Um, do you know with the because you're coming out of here into the dive bombs, aren't you? Yeah. And then that's when I'm finding out whether or not I've worked around those fingertips. Right. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's going into that. So I'm, I'm getting a bit. I'm getting a dip on the first one, and then I'm correcting on the second. Right. Yeah. It might be your bonk so I was a bit too low then. Yeah. Yeah, think think of uh, stepping in to that bong and then rotating around the, the fingertips if you can. Yeah. So yeah, that does does mean your bong sound might be a little bit higher than you think it is. So it'll be like there. That's my normal bong. Yeah. That would be my low bong. So I should be able to rotate around that fingertip. To give me the shape. Uh, what exactly is the angle? Is the angle is it is it about forty five degrees or is it is it more than that? When you're doing the dive bombs, um, that's your dive bomb shape. I'd say is about forty-five, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's my tan. There's my bomb. So yeah, from the side, it's about forty-five, isn't it? I don't know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like, yeah. 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 It's roughly that. Yeah. Whereas my normal bong sow is much higher. Yeah.
Okay, so let's finish off with the, um, the last part of the form. So after we've done our double views and our jut and our double palms, we're locking out and we're wrist stretching. And then we're looking over our left shoulder, lifting the left leg, pivot on the heel, 135 degrees, looking for the kick. And we're kicking to the waist height. And then we're placing that foot down. And we've got left gum, right gum, left gum. Square it up. One, two, three, four, five punches. And then we're going to switch sides. And we're going to look over the right shoulder this time. Lift, turn on the heel, 135 degrees. Kick, placing that foot down. So this time it's right gum, left gum, right gum. Front hand leads, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go back to the other side. Left shoulder, look, lift, turn, kick. Thumbs, one, two, three. Punches, one, two, three, four, five. And just keep looping this. So we've got look, lift, turn, kick. Right gum, left gum, right gum. Front hand leads, one, two, three, four, five. And just keep having a, a loop on that. So we've got look, lift, turn, kick, and then gums and punches. Where should you be facing at the end then if you've gone to should you be should you return to the same position you started in when you've turned? So I'm, yeah. not, I'm, a, I'm completely facing the a completely different direction. I think on my angles are wrong. So if you if you say that when we started the form, we're, yeah. facing, we're facing the computer, well that means that uh, when we're doing our double view, we're gonna be at 90 degrees to our computer. Right. So when we're looking over our shoulder. We're looking past our laptop here, and that should this should take us across the front of our laptop. Then, when we place our foot back down, we turn, we're into Chun, Chun Ma turning stance. So, when we do our gum, we're now facing the, the camera again. Right. And okay. then, when we finish. We're back square on. So that so the view that you're starting from is going to put you at 90 degrees uh, to your original starting position, which you should end up in. Right, and then when you go and you do the other side, then you'll end up, yeah. If you're doing the other side, yeah, again, you're facing, but the other side, look, lift, turn, kick, and right. put yourself down in turning stance. There's my first turning, gum, 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 and then squaring up. So we end up square up here. So we're basically doing a 90 degree manoeuvre. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah. So Richard, um, so that was all good except for you got gum, 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 and then when this front hand leads and you square up, yeah. the back hand turns into a fist. Okay. So I think it was you just still had it as a guard. It's only a very little thing. So uh, okay. here, you've got one. So if we were to do it at half speed, we've yeah. got look, lift, turn, kick, yeah. and we've got gum. Gum, backhand guard, gum, backhand guard, square up, first punch, but the second hand's now a fist. Right, okay. So when you're going from here, from your gum and your guard, to the square and the punch, your backhand becomes a punch. Uh, okay, so I have that as guard. 
yeah, I think you, you just had it as a guard and it became a punch on the travel. Right, okay. Thank you. Yeah, just a little tiny thing. So we've got gum. Uh, where were we? So gum, gum, gum and guard, gum and guard. As soon as you square up and punch, you're now in punching position. Right. Okay. Thank you. Ben, that's still the same thing with your head position. So you're turning, but your head's not moving. So that means you're not sinking. So just try and sink a little bit more on your turns. And sink your weight over your hip. That's better already, yeah. And that's a gum sow. So your hand is parallel to the floor, like this. So we've got this shape. It's different to the garn sow, which is like chopping like that. This is a gum. It's like a pin. So just look at your left hand position there, Ben. So yeah, that's it. Flatten the hand but and then sink your weight. So the hand should be... So if I was square onto the, the laptop here and I did a gum sow, it would be there in the middle. But with my turn, it brings me around. So it's similar to the, the punches were here and my turn moves me around the target. The gum sow is here and that turn moves me around the target. So I'm using my turns to move around, but I'm using my gum to pin. So in a mirror, it would appear opposite your, your hip. So your body needs to move a bit more then around that middle line. And hands parallel to the floor, so it's like that shape. That's it. You all right there, Mark? Struggling on the other side with the turning and kicking thing. It's, it's hard, isn't it? When you used to just do one side, I still find the other side hard because I've done years of just doing one side of this. Yeah. I'm not, I don't seem to get enough rotation, so I'm, kind of, I'm at the wrong angle when I come around. Uh, I don't know how to rectify that. So part of it is what you're looking at. So try and pick a spot on the wall, and that will help you keep your balance. And then once you kick that, place yourself back down into your turning stance. Yeah. I'm in the turning stance, but I'm off, I'm off, I'm, I'm at a sort of slight angle to watch. Not, not facing the pole, not, not my, the, the foot kick turned around in is too far, too far forward. Right. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing with my feet. So if this is, uh, this is my, um, this is my look. I lift my turn, ooh, and my and my kick, and then I'm placing this foot here. So when I do my first gum sow, I'm now in turning stance. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting myself back. So from here to there's my kick uh, uh, over there, but then I'm placing my foot over here. So my kick right. is actually more that direction, and then I'm placing my foot back into Chun Ma over here. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Right. So I'm sneaking back into my turning stance. Okay, right, yeah, okay, let's try that then. Yeah. Ah, right, yes, okay, yeah, that makes more sense, right. Yeah. So where you're kicking and where you're putting your foot down are different spots. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then so you do three, then there's the, first, the fist that's the... The, um, the nearest fist to the target hits first. Yeah. Right. Up, yeah. So you're not turning with those punches, Mark. So once you've done... Once oh, you've, it's pretty square on, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so once you've done your, that's your first gum, and your backhand is still here. Once you introduce your second gum, just move that down. Once you introduce your second gum, your backhand becomes a guard. Right. You've got your third gum, and then this hand leads into the punch, and your backhand joins it with a, as a fist. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I keep wanting to to punch kind of before I've squared my feet up to sort of help them square up. Yeah. Should they be square first and, and rooted, and then I do the five punches? 
Um, you're doing a turning technique, aren't you? So you've got, um, you've done your kick, and then you're, you're landing in turning stance, and then you do a full turn for your first gun, a full turn for your second gun, and then a full turn for your third gun. So, you, so in order to square up, you just have to, well, you need to square up from your turn. So from my Chun Ma stance, so on my last turn, I'm, I'm basically here in my uh, Chun Ma, and I'm squaring up with a punch. So I'm going from a turning stance to squaring up on that, on that first punch. Yeah, so when you, when you punch, it brings your leg with it, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you could think of your punch pulling your other hip in. So both yeah, that's what it's doing. I thought I was doing that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Done something right for us. <laughs> <Back. laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> 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 Again, <laughs> uh -huh. knows it. Stop looking. <laughs> it's worse when you're being watched, isn't it? <laughs> Lost now. So those gum sales, Mark, want to be in the same spot as well. Right, okay. Think of uh, after my, after I've done my kick, um, I'm doing a gum. So the gum is here. My yeah. second gum will be on top of it, but I'm turning around it. Oh, right, okay. The gum will be on top of that and I'm turning around it. So all, it's a bit like I turn in punches, they're all in the same spot. Same applies with the gums. Right. So gums are in the same spot. Okay, right. Yeah, that's it. Ben, flatten those hands. That's much better, Ben. Yeah, good. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, we'll we'll, uh, we'll wrap it off with some punches to finish up. Okay. But yeah, keep drilling that. That looks all. That's all good. We've sort of identified a few little issues there, but uh, yeah. keep drilling that and um, use this video as well as a reference if you need to. Okay, so we'll finish off with some punches and some palms and some views. Okay, so punching position. Single punches, once each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, nice and light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms, singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, singles rather, <laughs> sorry. 
Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Views underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys. Close your stance, and we'll finish there. Good, thank you. That's great. Well done, guys. I'll see you on the next one. We've got the next challenge coming up. Any uh, preference on what we're going to do? Drop a message in the Facebook chat or send me an email or something. Okay. Um, it's going to be punch related. Maybe even it could even be chum Q. We could do a chum Q challenge because I don't think we've done one of those. Yeah. Um, Get your thinking caps on. I'm still kind of umming and ahhing about what it should be, really. But uh, any ideas? Any preferences? Jim Q sounds good. Yeah. Jim Q. Yeah. Ah, I like that idea. Yeah, Jim Q challenge. Thirty days of Jim Q. The yeah, uh, you nailed them, wasn't it? it it's, I feel like it's the doing the thirty day challenge. I've got, I've got it completely nailed. Uh, yeah, it'll embed it. You'll definitely learn it if you do it thirty days of it nonstop. Yeah. That would yeah. be a difficult challenge for the people who've joined on just for the first time online, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it'd be quite hard for them, but um, most of them aren't actually on <laughs> on there. I've not really heard a lot from people. I mean, I don't know. They might be doing stuff. That, um, um, they might be joining in, and, and I'm not aware. But, yeah, definitely it would be quite a challenge for the new people, that's for sure. So it might be better to keep it simple. I don't know. Um, but we could always do that anyway. We could do that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's challenges for you. We could, have, we could have two running back to back, can we? First, yeah. first form, second form, punches, views, whatever it might be. Yeah. But I quite like the idea of a chum Q challenge. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That'd be yeah. Good. I like the yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll definitely include chum Q then. I'll do a 30 day chum, chum Q challenge. And, and if people don't know it, they can learn the form on the video. I've got videos in the back office and, and the, uh, in the Facebook group anyway, so people can use that as a resource to learn. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Build it up. Unless you break it down so you don't do the whole thing to start with and you just add bits as it goes on. Yeah, well, I could do that. And I, I could create a few little videos just breaking it down for people who don't know it. And they could just yeah. do little the parts that they do know. Um, so we could do it like that and sort of offer it up as a, you know, learning challenge as well as a drilling challenge. So, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. And I think that last kick in Chunk Q. I could do with a challenge around that because <laughs> yeah that's really hard I, can, uh, it, I don't know if it's, uh, it, it's the, tra the trainers are like they're maybe a bit sticky I don't know but it's like it is hard to get the angle right to, yeah you know. but, I mean you don't need it I mean it's like you know it's it's uh if you think about the amount of kicks there are in Wing Chun they're very minimal aren't they um yeah. you know it's it's more a game of strategy and playing to your strengths so you know, if you if you're not comfortable with something, you just don't don't use that. You know, in re, in reality, but yeah, it's a, a bit of showboating, isn't it? <laughs> I have to say, I've never used that kick in a fight. <laughs> or in <laughs> or in or in free flow in class. <laughs> <laughs> cool, guys. Good to see everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you Thursday. Yes, take care. Yeah. Cheers. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.